I now give the floor to a representative of the Australian Youth Climate Coalition on behalf of the Indigenous Peoples Organizations constituency. Ms. Watt, you have the floor. Honourable Chair, I make this intervention on behalf of the International Indigenous Peoples Forum on Climate Change. Indigenous people are on the front lines of the impacts of climate change around the world, whether we are from islands and coastal areas, the Arctic, the deserts, urban areas, forests or mountain regions. But we are not just victims of climate change. We have very precise knowledge about our environment that enable us to observe, cope and adapt to the impacts of climate change. We welcome the report of the Nairobi Work Program and the continued efforts in adaptation. We would like to bring up two points that we feel would be able to strengthen Indigenous people's ability to contribute and benefit from the Nairobi Work Program. First, there needs to be a stronger recognition of the necessary roles of Indigenous people's knowledge in local adaptation strategies. Indigenous knowledge contributes information that is valuable in devising adaptation strategies that are appropriate and respond directly to our needs. For this to happen, the importance of Indigenous knowledge needs to be recognised in policy and implementation at sub-national, national and global levels. Secondly, the knowledge that is contained in the Nairobi Work Program need to reach Indigenous peoples as well. We need to be able to access the different initiatives and to be able to access what it is in these initiatives that would enable us to supplement our existing knowledge so that we can increase our resilience to the impacts of climate change. In order to facilitate these two projects, Indigenous people call for our full and effective participation in projects and programs under the Nairobi Work Program. We call for mechanisms that enable us to present at the activities of the Nairobi Work Program to be able to have access to the knowledge generated under the Nairobi Work Plan and its outputs. These processes are necessary to ensure that Indigenous people can become full partners in the fight to ensure that we overcome the worst impacts of climate change. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Ms. Watt, for your statement. I would like to take this opportunity to thank again the chairs of the contact groups, the facilitators of the informal consultations and all delegates for their hard work.